All right, what's going on, everybody? So I recently watched this movie uh, called Honk for Jesus. I saw some people loved it, some people hated it. So I was like, let me check this movie out. So first of all, let me say, Regina Hall is a national treasure. We must protect her at all costs because she killed uh, this role. Sterling Hall is good, too. Um, overall, I think the movie is good. Um, I think people need to go in and understand that it's a satire, mockumentary type movie. It's not like a fall on the floor, bust out laughing the whole time comedy. And I think that's what some people may be getting mixed up. But I think the biggest takeaway from it is, and you can tell if you didn't know Jordan Peele, I think he was the producer or ex executive producer or something. He had his hands in it. And it's a lot of deep little things that I saw um, that was in it uh, based on like the black community and mega churches. That seemed to be the main thing on how a lot of these pastors, you know, they get put on these high uh, pedestals, if you will. Um, and these mega churches and these, we don't really know these people like we think we know these people. Like nobody really knows these mega church people. I mean, I'm old enough to remember Tammy Faye and um, Jim Baker back in the days and a whole lot of other people. Um, so I've seen it, you know, throughout the years. But the movie itself, I think, was was very good. I've seen a lot of people said it wasn't funny, blah, blah, blah. But it's not meant to be like super far out to share funny. It is meant to really hit a lot of notes. And I think they hit most of the notes. The, the ending was, eh, but I think the ending was more about something that was there you're supposed to think about. I missed it completely. But um, I can definitely tell there was something there we were supposed to take away from that last part, the last scene or whatever in the movie. But I would say go watch yourself. Don't listen to what people say because I kind of feel like certain people, and not, let me be specific, churchy people uh, don't like it because it is bringing an attention to things that go on in these churches that people don't like to talk about. Um, it's kind of like how with Catholic priests, the stuff that you hear throughout the years, but nobody never, nobody really wants to talk about the molestation charges and all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. They just look the other way because it's a church. They did a lot of that in this movie, um, pointing and shining a light on things that black churches uh, don't want us to talk about or even discuss or even look in that direction. So that's why I think a lot of people... A lot of I've, I've seen a lot of people that dislike it and a lot of them are Christian or I say churchy folks. And I think, you know, once I saw the movie, I was like, ah, I get it. I would be the same way if I was one of those people, too. So check it out yourself. Now, I got Peacock, so I saw it for free. Um, it, it was never a movie. I would have went to the movie theaters and saw. But I think if you got Peacock, check it out. Or if you got it, one of the little bootleg services, whatever you do, try not to bootleg it. it support support our fans. But um. I think once it comes out on more streaming services and more people see it, the talk is going to come back up about this uh, about this movie. Um, I think that Sterling Hall uh, did a great job. I think if they would have had a comedic, uh, a comedian doing his role, the time and the stuff would have been a little better. But I think he did a great job. But like I said, Regina Hall, she crushed this whole entire movie to me personally. She needed to win some kind of award for it. Um, but definitely check this movie out. Uh, it's, on, it's on Peacock. Uh, it's free on Peacock or it's in the movie theaters, however you try, uh, choose to go see it. But definitely check out this movie, all right? And let me know what you think in the, com uh, in the comments below. Only if you've seen the movie. You may hate it, and that's fine. I just want to see the interesting things that you guys may have liked or disliked about the movie in the comments. 